Hi students, uh, this is supposed to be lecture for this week also. I think I will. Uh, so this is uh, this lecture is still on uh, topic eight uh, CVP analysis. Okay, I have. Uh, I think you have seen uh, one lec uh, several videos before. So this is the next section uh, that I have to explain to you. So the next thing in the CVP analysis is uh, a topic about break-even analysis. So first thing is you have to know what it means by the term break-even. Break-even is the point where uh, a business uh, revenue equal to uh, the business cost. So at this point, there is no profit and there is no loss. Uh, most of the time, if a person started a business, then the person will uh, will want to achieve uh, break even uh, as quickly as possible Be and then after the person or the businessman achieve break even then the business can get profit uh, let's say you start a small business let's say you start a, a, a burger stall in 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 your college uh, so most of the time when you start a, uh, a burger stall you will have to invest uh, maybe you put uh, 500 ringgit to start everything uh, to purchase the raw material to purchase the uh, everything that you need to to prepare the burger so when you have invested let's say 500 dollar when you start the business most of the time the thing that you you want is you want to get your money back five hundred dollar. So when you achieve, uh, when your revenue equal to the to five hundred dollar, that is the point of break even, at uh, the point where, uh, your business uh, and you. Uh, the business revenue equal to the cost of the, uh, business, at that point there is no profit and no loss. Before the break-even point, your business is making loss. After the break-even point, your business will make profit. So it is very important for a business to know how to calculate break-even point. Okay, so there are, there are three methods or approaches that can be used to calculate break-even point. In this slide, you can see that the three methods are first graphical analysis or graphical method. Second equation method and number three is contribution margin method. So the the graphical method is something like this. Uh, let's say you uh, you are asked uh, to calculate a break even point using graphical method. Then you have to draw a graph. You have to find a graph paper. You have to draw a graph. Uh, uh, in the in the graph uh, in the vertical axis you have to show dollar uh, dollar of sales dollar of revenue in the horizontal axis you have to show the quantity of product that uh, that the business sells and then you have to plot a graph or line for total cost and then you have to line or to draw line for total revenue. So after you have uh, drew the line for total cost and revenue, uh, the point where these two lines are intercept uh, is called the break even point. At that point, revenue equal to cost. Uh, and then you can uh, you can see uh, at at how many dollar of sales and cost the business will achieve break even point and also you can see at how many quantity of product uh, the business will achieve uh, break even point so graphical method or graphical analysis is easy but uh, it takes time uh, you have to find a graph paper and then you have to draw lines so it takes it's not very practical 
So the second method that you can use is this method, equation method. Using this method, you have to remember this one thing. Uh, you have to remember the basic idea about the break-even point. Uh, the basic uh, idea is a break-even point is a point where revenue equal to cost or a point where profit equal to zero. So, uh, see here, if you use um, if you use this equation method, you have to use uh, you have to use or apply the second uh, equation in this slide. You see this slide? Uh, the first, there is a first um, equation and then you use the second one. It is, that one is easier. So just remember, the break-even point is a point where revenue or sales equal to cost. At that time, the profit is zero. So revenue equal to cost. So revenue, you know how to calculate revenue. The calculation for revenue is uh, unit price times quantity. That is the total revenue. And total cost uh, in, equal to uh, total variable cost plus total fixed cost. Okay, so let's see the next. Okay, let's see how to use the equation method uh, to calculate break even point for this bicycle uh, company. Now, just remember this bicycle company, we have used this sample scenario before. The business sells bicycle. Now the business sells uh, 500 bicycles, uh, unit price for one bicycle is $500, unit variable cost is $300, and then uh, fixed cost is equal to $80,000. So if you have to use um, equation method to calculate the break-even point, then you you apply the, this formula. Revenue or sales equal to uh, variable cost plus fixed cost. Uh, profit uh, profit at the at the break-even point is zero, so don't have to worry about profit. So revenue total revenue equal to variable cost plus fixed cost. So you just put the number. Remember the total revenue I said to you. Uh, total revenue is equal to price times quantity. Okay. Price for the bicycle is five hundred. See the the brown uh, number there. Price for uh, sorry the total revenue equal to uh, price times quantity. So price for the bicycle is five hundred dollar. Quantity is the one that you want to know. Uh, you want to uh, to for the break even. You want to know how for how many bicycle the business uh, has to sell to achieve the break even point. So quantity is the thing that you want to know. Uh, so five hundred dollar times Q. Q is the quantity that you want to know. Equal to variable cost. Uh, equal to you uh, total variable cost equal to unit variable cost times quantity. In this bicycle scenario, the unit variable cost is three hundred dollar. The quantity is Q. Q is the thing that you want to find. Plus fixed cost. Fixed cost or fixed expenses for this bicycle company is 80000 So you solve that equation, you will you will see that Q is equal to 400. Uh, so when Q is 400, it means that uh, the business, the wind bicycle company will achieve break even, will achieve break even point when the business can sell 400 unit bicycle. Okay, so we calculate break-even point in terms of quantity and also in terms of dollar. So in the previous slide, you have seen how to calculate break-even point in terms of quantity. Uh, after the calculation, you know that the business, uh, the wind bicycle company has to sell 400 bicycle to achieve break-even point. That is break-even point in terms of quantity. Now, uh, if you have to calculate break-even point in terms of dollar, then the thing, uh, the calculation is like this. 
So in term of dollar, uh, you can see the calculation here. But the simple way, simpler way to calculate um, break even point in term of dollar is like this: four hundred bicycle is the quantity of break even. So in term of dollar, four hundred bicycle times three hundred dollar. So how many dollars the business has to sell to achieve break even point? 400 bicycle times 300. So oh sorry, 400 bicycle times 5. $500. Uh, $500 is the price of the bicycle. 400 unit is the break even point in terms of quantity. So times $500 because the price of bi uh, a bicycle is $500. So 400 times $500 equal to $200,000. So it means that for the bicycle company company to achieve break even point, the company has to sell two hundred uh, four hundred bicycle, or has to achieve the sales of two hundred thousand dollar. So break even point is seen uh, from the quantity side and also from the dollar side. So, if a question asks you, uh, calculate break even point using equation method, then you you follow this, uh, this uh, way to calculate the break even point. I think also uh, I have asked you to to watch uh, videos that I made uh, about the calculation for uh, break even point using equation method. You can check that video again if you want. Okay, another way to calculate a break even point is using contribution margin method. Using contribution margin method, you have to memorize uh, two formulas. Okay, first, uh, if you want to calculate break even point in term of unit or in term of quantity, then you have to memorize. The first uh, formula you can see in this slide. Uh, break even point in term of quantity or unit sold equal to fixed expenses divided by unit contribution margin. Okay. And then if you want to calculate break even point in term of dollar, then you have to use uh, the second formula that you can see in this slide. Break even point in term of dollar or in term of ringgit equal to fixed expenses divided by CN ratio. Okay, this is an, a sample question. Uh, and then let's see. Coffee Clutch is an espresso stand in a downtown office building. The average selling price of a cup of coffee is $1.49. The average variable expense per cup is $0.36. Cents. The average fixed expense per month is $1,300. $2,100 cups are sold each month on average. What is the break-even sales in unit? Okay. So the question is, what is the break-even sales per unit in unit uh, or break-even uh, point in term of quantity? So you know, if you want to answer this question, you can use three methods. You can use graph method, uh, equation method, or the contribution margin method. Uh, you have to choose which one is easier. Uh, do not choose the graph method because it takes time. You have to find a graph paper or uh, and then you have to draw lines. It takes time. But your your best choice is either uh, equation method or contribution margin method. So use your use the method that, that you can uh, yeah, that you think easy for you. So I think the easy the easier method is the contribution uh, 
magic, uh, margin method because the contribution method you just need to memorize the formula and then you can get the answer okay let's see this question the answer for this question what is the break even uh, quantity or sales in unit so this uh, solution is uh, is done using the contribution uh, method so the formula to calculate uh, break even in terms of quantity is fixed expenses divided by unit contribution margin so for the coffee clash example the fixed expenses is 1300 and then unit contribution margin uh, you have to remember the calculation for unit contribution margin unit contribution margin equal to uh, price minus unit variable cost so the price of the coffee is $1.49 per cup the unit variable cost is $0.36 cent per cup uh, now you can calculate the break even point in terms of quantity 1300 divided by $1.13 uh, equal to 1150 cups so for the coffee flat uh, the for the coffee clutch business if the business want to achieve break even point the business has to sell 1150 cups of coffee now the same business the same data the question asks you what is the break even sales in dollar uh, again, if you want to use equation method, you can use to answer this question or you can use the contribution margin, contribution method, uh, you will get the same answer. So, let's see the solution. Oh, so, so, remember, this solution is done using the contribution method. The formula is like this, break even point in term of dollar of sales or ringgit of sales equal to fixed expenses divided by CM ratio. So fixed expenses is $1,300. CM ratio, you have to memorize the, the, the calculation for CM ratio. CM ratio is uh, unit contribution margin divided by unit price. Okay, in this question or sample scenario, the CM ratio is 0 0.758. Okay, then the answer for this question is $1,715. You can use the, your calculator to find the, to solve the calculation. Okay, I have uh, explained to you three methods that can be used to calculate break-even point in terms of quantity and dollar. So this is the last uh, topic. Uh, this is the last uh, section or subtopics in this topic number 8. Uh, this one is to calculate target profit analysis. So the scenario is like this. Suppose when company wants to know how many bikes must be sold to earn a profit of $100,000. So how to calculate that? So... Your knowledge about CVP analysis allow you to calculate uh, data for target profit. Okay, so see the second point there. We can use CVP formula to determine the sales volume needed to achieve a target profit figure. So if you uh, want to calculate how many units of product or bicycle has to be sold to achieve the $100,000 profit, uh, you can calculate the the target data uh, using equation method or using the contribution method see th this cvp equation method first so you use this formula sales equal to variable expenses or variable cost uh, plus fixed cost or fixed expenses plus profit and then put the number you know that sales or total revenue equal to price of the bicycle 500 times the quantity the quantity is the Thing that you want to calculate and then uh, variable expenses total variable expenses equal to unit variable cost times quantity so unit variable cost for this bicycle is 300 dollar the quantity is q and the fixed expenses is for this bicycle company is eighty thousand dollar plus you put the number for the target profit 
Uh, in this scenario, the target profit is $100,000 because the question asked you in the previous slide, uh, how many uh, bicycle has to be sold? Uh, if the business want to achieve profit of $100,000, so you put the $100,000. Okay, let's see. And then, uh, you solve this calculation or this formula. Uh, so, 200Q equal to $180,000. So, Q equal to 900 bytes. So, using this calculation, using this equation, you know that for the bicycle, wind bicycle company, if the company want to achieve $100,000, uh, profit the company has to sell 900 bikes or bicycle if you have to calculate the uh, the data for uh, how many dollar of sales has to be made to achieve $100,000 profit so if a question asks you how many dollar of sales has to be made to achieve $100,000, so the answer is 900 bytes times the price of one byte is $500. So 900 bytes times 500, so you will get a number. That is the amount of sales that the business has to make to achieve $100,000 profit. Okay, that is one way. Another way to calculate uh, the target uh, data is using the contribution margin approach so so if you have to calculate unit sales to to achieve the target profit then you use this formula this formula is an extension to the break even point uh, calculation formula so you just remember uh, for this purpose the formula is fixed expenses plus target profit. And then you divide the, these numbers with unit contribution margin. So fixed expenses uh, for this bicycle company is $80,000. So the target profit is $100,000. And then you divide by uh, the unit contribution margin of $200. So you will get the answer, 900 bikes. Uh, you will know that to for the company to achieve $100,000 profit, the company has to sell 900 bikes. Okay, this is a sample question related to coffee clutch. Uh, this is like a coffee stall or something, espresso stand. Okay, you have seen the data, the price, and then the unit variable cost. And then the fixed cost is 1,300. So the question asks you, how many cups of coffee will have to be sold to attain target profit of 2,500 per month? So you use the, this question, uh, this sample, uh, this solution uses the contribution uh, method. You use the formula. So fixed expenses plus target profit divided by unit contribution margin equal to unit sales to attain target profit. So you put the number 1,300 plus 2,500 divided by 149 minus 36 cents. So the answer is 3,363 cups. Uh, this uh, coffee clutch has to sell 3,363 cups of coffee to achieve the Target profit of 2,500. That's all. That's all for this uh, chapter or topic. Topic number 8. We have finished. Uh, covered, uh, we have covered everything uh, for you in for this topic number 8. So, the next lecture I will uh, explain about topic number 9 and number 10. Thank you very much. Do not forget to write your name and metric number in the comment section. And feel free to, to contact me uh, using the WhatsApp group.